But right now I want to show you a newer feature to Outlook 2010 and that is going to be appearing right beneath that reading pane and that's called the people pane. If you grab hold of that divider bar and pull up, the people pane is designed to keep track of people and communications with people. So depending on what email item you have selected, you'll see the people pane update for that particular contact. So if I select Bill Calterman within the people pane, you can connect to social networks to show profile photos and activity updates of your colleagues in Outlook, which is a brand new feature once again, and therefore there's not a whole lot of social networks as of right now, as of at the time of this recording, to add. In fact, it is limited pretty much to SharePoint and these social network providers. Let me open that up real quick. And all that link does is take you to the Microsoft Office page that describes social networking using Outlook Social Connector. And right now, at the time of this recording, we have the Facebook, LinkedIn, MySpace, and Windows Live Messenger apps that you can sync with Outlook, which is kind of neat. And since these little updates are provided by social network providers, the directions for installing and using those applications will be specific to that particular social network. So this site will walk you through all of those nitty gritty details. But for right now, let's go back to Outlook. And I'm just going to close that real quick. So that's kind of the social aspect that it's referring to by this link and by the Add button here. Now in this pane, this is the really neat part of the People pane. Anything that you have scheduled or any communication that you've sent back and forth with that particular contact will appear on this little home tab here. And if you hover your mouse right over it, it'll tell you right there. It'll show your email, show your conversations, meetings, and other data about that person. And the best part of it is all of these are links. So if you want to quickly jump to a particular email message, all you've got to do is click it. And it's going to open right then and there. So that's kind of a neat little feature. Now on the next tab, it'll show any news feeds or updates, email messages that have been received from that person, any attachments that you've shared with that person via email, and of course, any upcoming meetings that you have. So potentially over the life of your Outlook inbox, you'll have a lot of different exchanges with colleagues. So the home tab can get a little a little crowded. Well, the tabs below are really quick, easy ways to filter any of items that you've shared or exchanged with a particular contact. So the People Pane truly is a really neat feature in Outlook 2010. But it is, of course, taking up valuable real estate, so you can always resize that area by clicking that divider bar, or you've got a couple of short links to toggle back and forth between people views. The button right here will display large icons versus the small icons and the arrow to the far right you can click to collapse the people pane entirely and only show those quick little thumbnails. So if you've been using Outlook 2010 and haven't yet clicked on that arrow to view the people pane, click on it, check it out, play around with it. It really is a neat addition.